First, uh, Chris Long is the uh, president of the Ohio Christian Alliance. He has been with us from the beginning, has been there in the hearings, and uh, all the emails that go out uh, help to keep those phones ringing, and that is also music to my ears. Chris Long, come up if you would. We're grateful. I've got some. some thank, you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, this is a very proud moment in our State House. For the last 10 years, I've been walking these halls along with Barry Sheets and Phil Burris and some of the other gentlemen and ladies behind me. And can you sense this morning that this is our time in history? Amen. These moments in history come along ever so often, and you're very key to it this morning. This is that poignant moment in our history as a nation and as a state. We're going to make a, a statement with a piece of legislation that will be heard not only in Ohio, will be heard across the nation, and will be heard around the world. This time in our nation when we are struggling with so many issues, just in those days of the Civil War, when Abraham Lincoln challenged the Congress that before him, said that history will remember us in spite of ourselves. For what we do. The great liberation of those men and women who are yet to be born, you are here advocating on their behalf today. Abortion is a very personal issue. And there are many of us in this room that if we could have back those 30 minutes, both men and women in a clinic, we would like to have those 30 minutes back. We can save those who are yet to make that fateful decision of ending a life, their own flesh and blood. We have an opportunity. It's a proud moment for me to stand here. I see many friends. I see many men and women behind me who have long been in the struggle for life. We have an opportunity to push it over the top, to allow Ohio to be that which resonates across the nation with this legislation. And this lady in red has rallied us together. Ten years ago, I was called Janet and I didn't have the opportunity of working together at the State House. I was pastoring when she was working here at the State House. After she went on to the national scene, I've been working here for the last 10 years, and we're so glad that she came back this year to rally the troops at a time when we elected a lot of fine legislators and everything was in place to pass this legislation. Let's give her a big hand. And Janet, I want to say to you and to the whole team that the Ohio Christian Alliance commits all of its resources, its network statewide, to advocate for this issue, to see it to its passage, until the ink is dry on Governor Kasich's desk. Thank you. God bless you. Wow. Thank you so much. I promised God a long time ago that when he passes this bill, he's going to get every single ounce of the credit and all of the glory. And so let's just remember where that belongs. Let's give God a hand of applause today. team effort and every single thing we've done as a team. Uh, and, and, and I'll tell you, uh, there's also a new pro-life representative, uh, Lou, Lou Terhar, who is here, who didn't get to vote on the bill, but you will be able to get to vote to confirm the bill as it comes from the Senate. Thank you so much for being a part of the team. And we're grateful that you're now on the House of Representatives.
Speaking of team, I want to recognize a few people. I've got a necklace for you all. One is, is uh, I see you back there, Paula Westwood, a soft-spoken person with the largest pro-life, right-to-life chapter in the state from Cincinnati, right-to-life. Paula Westwood, thank you. Oh, come on up and get your necklace. Also, Ross Conley. Where are you, Ross? There you go, Paula. Thank you so much. Ross Conley is the guy behind the scenes. He is the MVP of F2A, of Faith to Action. He's the guy that gets the music video up on the website. He's the guy that makes sure all the emails go out. And I could not do anything I do at Faith to Action. If it weren't for Ross Conley, we are grateful beyond words to you, sir. Thank you. Where's Maria Damo and Linda Reidelbach? Would you come up very quickly? Maria Damo, from back in the day, is back again in the battle. And when I learned that Marie had signed up for the fight, I just breathed a sigh of relief knowing we're going to win. The same is true with Linda Reidelbach, who decided to run for Congress in my living room. Might be time to do that again, uh, but we're grateful for both of you. Thank you. Thank you. Cindy Reese, are you here? Cindy in pink. Come on over. She, she, she's on the phone. We'll give you a necklace later. Cindy Reese was one from, uh, from she actually helped me uh, run for state central committee back in the day. Has been there from the beginning. Corey Shankleton, we've acknowledged you, but we've got uh, a gift for you as well. Corey, I can give it to you later if you'd like. Corey and Robin Morris and Jody Horn, the prayer warriors, and that is the most important part of this battle. It's God that's paving the way for prayer. In fact, it was Corey that said, God's blazing the trail. All we're doing is walking in it, and we're grateful for you. Um, thank you. I don't see him, but uh, Representative John Adams has been uh, there from the very start. We are grateful for your leadership. Representative Dave Hall also, thank you for being a part of the Heartbeat Bill. You are the heroic people who brought us to this point. If not for your courage, we would not be here.